Hi, my name is Chris Conkle. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you master construction so that you can be an industry leader, so that you can live a better life, be free, and achieve happiness and success. Today we're going over the design, bid, build, contractor's roles. Now we've done the uh, owners, we've done the architects. Um, if you're new to this playlist, I'm going to link it right here for you. Um, there's going to be two playlists that I'm linking. Uh, so the first playlist is going to be the project team um, playlist where th this is the series, okay? The project team series where it'll take you from the beginning of this lesson and then you can watch in sequence. The other playlist is a complete playlist on project management for construction. So there's a lot more in that playlist. So um, if it's just the design bid build uh, model you're after, and the, then go to the, the project team playlist. But if you want to learn more and more about project management, then the uh, project, project management uh, playlist is for you. This is the contractor's matrix, okay? So this is just the this is the general matrix. So what uh, what I'll what I'm gonna do is uh, break it this down into a couple different episodes. But this episode we're gonna just cover the uh, the the general matrix. Okay, so the officer in charge who is gonna be like the company owner or the you know the CEO president whatever, right? This guy is the the head or the girl is the head honcho, right? Um, so they're directly related to so the green arrows pointing are are direct relationships. Okay. So <clears throat> the officer in charge obviously works closely with estimating, scheduling, and the project manager. Okay, so uh, project managers in smaller companies are uh, will do the scheduling and the estimating. Okay, so just to keep that in mind, um, a lot of times now the theme is to have uh, your estimators be the project managers of the projects that they estimate because they have already an intimate relationship with the uh, people involved and the project itself. So <clears throat> um, scheduling is... Uh, um, unrelated to anything but the it just the officer in charge the project manager and scheduling uh estimating and scheduling does go hand in hand really because you need to know why uh scheduling bases is you can get your schedule your days off of the takeoffs from the estimating right so um a lot of stuff is automatically generated uh, for scheduling um <clears throat> so the project manager then is the is the next level uh, who will be in charge of the superintendent, the site superintendent. Um, the superintendent will be on site all the time. This is the person in charge of the construction project, okay? The uh, project engineer won't be on site. Um, the project engineer is in the offices as well. And the project engineer uh, is the one responsible for all the, um, like exactly what it says, like the, all the in structural, the engineering stuff, uh, all the testing and, and, and re stuff like that, right? So uh, the project engineer is in the office, but the project, project engineer will have field engineers that do site measure, measurements and readings and stuff like that, okay? Uh, so that the uh, field engineers will report back to the project engineer. Uh, once in a while, the project engineer might have to come in, uh, depending on what it is, but most most part, the field engineers are the ones who, uh, they, and they're not even on site full time. Uh, the field engineers will jump from site to site to site, uh, doing their, uh, whatever they do, right? Part of uh, the, the build they do. Um, so the superintendent then on site, <clears throat> this is where it comes, okay? So uh, this is from the superintendent and, and down this way, okay? is uh, what will be on a construction site. Now, the subcontractors are won't be full-time, but under the superintendents, like the, the, the prime contractors, foreman will be full-time, uh, and then the crafts people will, will see. Yeah, see, I wish it was four-person, honestly, I do. Um, I think that's gonna change real soon. Um, but yeah, so four, the four-person, my bad, and uh, it will be in charge of the crafts people, so there'll be divisions of crafts people. So there's gonna be, carpenters, plumbers, uh, electricians, like those are, there's different classifications, right? So in carpentry, there's guys that do uh, framing, there's guys who do uh, concrete forming and finishing and, and so on, right? So there's uh, many other divisions of craftspeople as well. So on a big project, <clears throat> you can have, like I've been on jobs with like four to 500 guys on it, right? Um, that, that's pretty, that's a big job. So um, the superintendent is in charge of the subcontractors, so the scheduling and every uh, and the project manager and the estimator is all related uh, to the to the subcontractors 
through the superintendent project manager. Okay, so they have to schedule the subcontractors and they have to pay them, right? So they have to make sure that their, uh, their quality is up, so QA, QC as well. Uh, there's a lot of responsibility um, with subcontractors, okay? So uh, the more you have, the more complicated the job gets. So um, those are the subs are the ones who uh, generally on a prime contractor, the subcontractors are like the electrical, the, the mechanical, like the plumbing, all that. So those sometimes can be uh, the same companies or they could be three different companies, right? Uh, depending on the, the bid and the size of the subcontractor and that stuff, right? So the, the subcontractors will have their own uh, own office, okay? So the subs quite often will have project managers and superintendents and scheduling and estimating and project engineers themselves, okay? So they're, but they're not on site. <clears throat> Sometimes the engineers may be on site depending on like the suppliers, right? Who, who's manufacturing certain things, might have to come to site to check it out. So then uh, underneath the subs, there's the same thing. There's four person, four people and crafts, people so the the foreman will then have the you know be in charge of the site uh and will schedule his or hers uh, manpower you know uh put it to whatever needs to be done right like the, according to schedule <coughs> uh and like scheduling and planning right so uh under subs there can be also second tier subs which again second tier subs you're gonna have another level of office sometimes um and then these guys are like this is where i am Actually, this is where I work, is in this realm now, uh, uh, as, a, as a peace worker and a small contract worker. Uh, I just have, you know, me and the two guys, and we just do uh, peace work and, uh, like, just small contracts, right? So, um, that this is where I am, <laughs> right? Um, but, yeah, so, there's Chris right there. <clears throat> so, yeah, so you can imagine, like, I have to be very careful myself with my contracts and my connections because... There's a lot of levels of, uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of people ahead of me in line, right? So, as a second tier sub, um, I'm, you know, I, I very careful with who I work for and uh, what I do. So, a lot of you guys will fall into this uh, category eventually, um, or you're going to break off into the, uh, into the prime contractor. If you can get a job with a prime contractor, like, that's, that's, uh, that's the best way to go in my opinion, uh, because then you have access to this upper echelon of, uh, positions, right? So that's the, uh, design bid build contractors matrix. All right. If you're new to Chris Hunkel vlogs, make sure you subscribe right down below, hit that bell notification icon as well. So you don't miss a thing. Uh, YouTube thinks you might like this video right there. So give it a watch, uh, put another playlist down there for you. This is Chris. Bye for now, everyone.